Hi guys, Tish here and welcome back to the John Banks Review Channel. This is not a HRV. It may look like a HRV, but this is actually the ENY1. It's Honda's first fully electric SUV. And of course, it is based on the HRV, but the platform was always designed to be electric. In today's video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about this new fully electric car. And if you did have any questions or queries about the ENY1, then click the link down below to chat to one of our sales associates. If you did also like new car reviews like this, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button and join the John Banks Review Channel. Right, so let's start off with how can you tell the difference between this and the HRV? Well, there's a few telltale signs. Now it is slightly longer and slightly higher, but it's the same width as the HRV. However, you will also now see a smoothed off front grille to show that this is the electric model. You can also open this grille by pressing the button in which it will pop open to reveal the charging. You can also tell that this is the fully electric version by Honda's new white badges. So in the centre caps of the wheels, of course on the front of the car and the rear, you'll see that the Honda badges are now finished in white. And this is going to be a theme across a lot of their electric vehicles. You'll notice a few things when you come around to the back of the car. For one, it actually has a rear wiper, which is not a given nowadays. It also gets a rear light bar, which looks really nice and has a 3D effect. And below it, you'll find Honda spelled out across the tailgate. Now inside the boot of the ENY1, you'll find 344 litres of boot space. You also get an electric boot if you go for the top spec car. Inside here, you've got a large loading area, which is nice and wide. So it'll be great for taking family suitcases and that weekly shop. Quality is extremely high throughout the whole of the ENY1, and that's still the case to the rear seats. They're really soft and you've got a nice comfortable seating position. This has actually been increased in its cushioning compared to the petrol HRV and you can tell that. You still get a nice place to store a drink which is not always a given in this class of car and you get a centre armrest with a couple of cup holders. You also get some USB-C charging, a little bit of storage up the front and you get some door cards for popping items in. Overall, it's just a very pleasant place to be. Now the ENY1 has a maximum charging speed of 78 kilowatts. And whilst that may be behind some rivals, Honda have said that rather than focusing on a high key figure, they focused on a large charging curve. And this means that the Honda should be able to sustain more power, more than its rivals can, meaning you can still get from 10 to 80% in around 45 minutes. Coming on to the interior of this new electric car, and it has all the high quality materials that you expect in a Honda. Everything feels really robust and well fitted. You get imitation leather seats, which are really soft and comfortable. And I love the way that they've got the white piping and blue stitching. You also have a leather wrapped armrest, leather steering wheel and leather across the dashboard with the same blue and white stitching. You also get this lovely blue interior lighting piping underneath the chrome, which matches some of the exterior details. You get a center console, which is finished in gloss black with plenty of storage in the armrest and up front, which includes some wireless charging. You also get two cup holders and you'll find a USB and USB-C charge port. You get Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as standard and that's wireless as well if you go for the Apple CarPlay. You also get satellite navigation, adaptive cruise control, heated seats, dual zone climate control, a heated steering wheel in this top specification car, as well as a panoramic sunroof and an upgraded sound system. 
there isn't much in the way of specification that you'd be looking for. It's pretty much kitted out in everything you'd need, including all cars coming with keyless entry and start as standard. You select your gears using these buttons down the centre console. And this may seem alien at first, but once you get used to them, it's really simple. You'll also find a little scroller where you can change your drive modes. These include Sport, Normal Mode and Econ Mode. You'll also see your electric handbrake with the automatic braking hold. Now it may not have all of the screens that you'll find in the Honda e, but it does have a large 15.1 inch colored touchscreen, which is mounted vertically. Now what I love about this touchscreen is it's split up in three very distinct sections. And this means you can have really quick access to everything you might need. At the top here, you'll find your maps displayed, but you also have your range and you can search for charging stations instantly from here. Along the bottom of here, you'll find your clock multi-view camera if you wanted to see your 360 degree view. And you also have the quick section to connect to your smartphone. Below that, you then have extra sections for your media. This means you can not only be displaying your map, but you can also be searching your apps, looking at your power flow, and even using your DAB radio. At the bottom, you'll see your climate control dials. Now, some people may be disappointed that Honda didn't stick with physical climate control dials, but what is great about these is that they're always accessible at all times. They're also pretty easy to use. You've got yours and your passenger's temperatures, which can be different on either side, and you can sync them at a touch of a button. You also have your fan speed at the bottom and your heated seats. If you are familiar with Honda products, then you'll know something about how their climate control works. Now, just like in the Honda HRV, they have these very clever little dials on the side of your air vents. Now, what these dials will do is they will send the air around the cabin without blowing it directly in your face, which I think is fantastic. The new Honda ENY1 gets a zero emission all electric driving range of up to 256 miles, which is really competitive and should be enough for most of our customers. You also get a heat pump as standard, which some of its competitors don't have. And this means it should be as efficient as possible, even as the weather gets chillier. Honda have also launched a new app. Things that you'll be able to do on this app will be precondition the cabin. So from your smartphone in the morning, you'll be able to warm up the cabin of the car. This means not only will it be nice and toasty when you get inside, but it will also have used the electric via your charger rather than eating into that precious driving range. Other things that you'll be able to do on this app will be to plan routes, find chargers, and also you can choose when your car actually charges. For instance, if you do have a cheaper charging tariff past a certain time of night, you can plan this via the app. To get even more driving range out of your battery, the ENY1 also has regenerative braking. Now you'll be able to turn this up and down using the paddles behind the steering wheel, which have a little minus button on the left, which will turn the level of regenerative braking down. And then you have the paddle on the right, which has a plus, and this will turn the regenerative braking up. Now, though it does have regenerative braking, which will put energy back into the battery as you lift off the accelerator, it's not quite a one pedal drive like you'll find in some other models. Just like many electric cars, the Honda ENY1's power is instant due to its electric torque. Now the ENY1 actually has slightly more power than some of its rivals that you'll find from the Stellantis group, like the Vauxhall Mocha or the Citroen EC4. This is just over 200 brake horsepower and just over 300 pound feet of torque. Together, it propels the ENY1 from 0 to 62 in just over seven seconds. 
Power delivery is smooth, but it's not jerky. When you put your foot on the accelerator, you do feel the instant power, but it's not enough to make you feel a bit sick or that it's just a bit too much like some of its rivals. The handling is absolutely fantastic. This is something that Honda is well known for, and they've made sure to make the ENY1 have that same personality. What I love about the Honda ENY1 is it really does feel like a Honda. It has all of those premium interior features. Everything feels really well made, and it also drives like a Honda, which is really important to owners. We know here at John Banks that our owners of existing Hondas are going to love the ENY1. And we also can't wait to see what new customers think of this car. But let us know, what do you think of the ENY1? Pop it in the comments down below. We really hope you've enjoyed the video today, guys. If you have, then go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. And if you wanted to see more, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Until next time, see you later.